kilometers long and there are 50 continuous tight turns because this is a local people road you're like a circle that floats around me keeping me In recent years, conquering the rocky Plato has become a trend for young people who want to understand more about themselves and go beyond their limits and comfort zone. Although we know that Don Juan Rocky Plato is a great place to discover ourselves, for many people who have had no experience when traveling to Haja, it might be difficult and will take a lot of skill to do it. On the way to explore the Rocky Plato, there will be countless attractive checkpoints and one of the most beautiful places, the most time consuming, causing many people to go on the paths at night time and many schedules to be turned upside down. That is the Nyokwe River and the Tucson Canyon. Surely when coming to Haja, everyone wants to go on the Mapilang Pass to touch the Nyokwe River and take a boat to the deepest canyon in the Southeast Asia, Tucson Canyon, to have the best experience, right? So for those of you with a short schedule of 2 or 3 days, you need to be very careful because Tucson Canyon and Nyokwe River will take up a lot of time. If you don't plan your schedule well enough, you will likely have to drive at night. But for those of you who have longer journey than 4 or 5 days, it's going to be extremely comfortable for you. In this video, I will show you how to go down to Nyokwe River so that you can visualize and arrange your schedule accordingly, making your journey truly complete. Remember to share this video with your friend, your most remarkable memory of Haja. River, you have two ways. One is driving down there by yourself, or you can hire a driver to drive you at Tala, about five kilometers from Dongban. Before you have reached the Mapilang Pass, you have already reached Tala. This exit is only for the people who have excellent driving skills and really, really confidence in themselves to be able to drive here. If I were to give you a piece of advice for this journey to discover the highland of Haijang, I would not advise you driving down there by yourself if you still practicing how to drive your motorbike. This is a pass with very beautiful and majestic scenery, both mountains, river, lakes, terraces, and the rocky mountains. But the cliffs here are also very deep, and the road is small and winding. The whole pass is 7.5 kilometers long, and there are 50 continuous tight turns. Because this is a local people road, so there's no burial on the cliff side. You can easily look down at the cliffs below you. The experience in Talang is not for everyone. You really need a solid driving skill and experiences to try this road. If not, I really don't recommend you do it. In my opinion, you should choose the second option. After going through Mapilan, you will see a small road below leading down to Nyokwe River. The road is very winding across the mountain. Driving on that road is also a very enjoyable experience. And it's not too difficult for everyone actually. 
If you stand on the pass, you can see that this road is much wider and safer than Talang Pass. But the scenery here is also very majestic. Along this road, one thing that is not fun for many of you, that is the long walk, about 800 meters before you reach the Northway boat station. But this is also a very great experience for many of you because you will be able to immerse yourself in the mountain and see the Nyokwe River from afar. From above, you can already feel the green and the freshness of the river. The more you go, the more excited you'll get. From here, you can take a boat upstream of Nyokwe River to go to the canyon, stop at a cliff to take a picture, or you can also have another experience that is rowing or kayaking by yourself. Or swimming is also a bold idea. You must remember to prepare full protective equipment to ensure your safety because the water here is very deep and many sharp edged rocks underneath the water. As far as I can see in March, the experience of boating and kayaking is the most beautiful because the two riverbanks also have a lot of red rice flower blooming on both sides. Looking at a small boat in the middle of a green river, flanked by huge rice trees with a bright red flower is a scene that makes everyone surprised and wish to return again. If you want to challenge yourself, try swimming in Yorkway River in the middle of winter. I promise you will have an unforgettable experience that you can never forget. Remember that you need to keep an eye on your clock all the time or set an alarm to make sure the journey down the Nyoka River will be perfect because it will take 2 hours or more. So to make sure that you don't drive in the dark, keep an eye on your watch guys. I'm going to have something difficult to tell you. It's about 99.9% .9 of people walking down here find it hard to breathe due to the steep slope because you have already spent all your energy on the boat already. This is also something that I need to share so that you guys can consider and choose for yourself. I myself highly recommend walking because it's very safe, but surely walking will both help you exercise and save you a lot of gas money. <laughs>